Hi guys, this is James from Devil's Paintbrush and I am going to do a painting video for a change. This is going to be of the Rubicon Models Tiger 1E. I'm doing it for the community build that they're doing which runs out on the 1st of January. I've already built and primed the kit. I can get it to focus. And yeah, also at the back there I've got some of Rubicon's German storage kit. There's an ammo box, some tarpaulins, a couple of jerry cans, a helmet, and of course whatever Tiger needs, a bucket. Let me just get a focus. Oh, it's not going to focus. And just to top it off, I have the Tank Commander, which is a Wardle Games. I've taken it from the plastic Panzer IV I've got, which will be built sometime soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it stage by stage because I don't have a camera. This is all done on my phone. So this is it built and primed. I'm going to come back again shoot it once I've done the base coating and then again once I've done a bit of weathering and then decals etc 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 so it's going, to, it's going to be one video but it filmed in four sections over a course of a couple of days um, and what I'm going to do with this um, if you saw my previous video it's going to be a tiger from Camp Kruf Hummel which took part in the Battle of Arnhem in mid-September 1944 which is why if you look at the back it's got the uh, tropical filter and then the unit next to the exhaust. So it's going. To, it's an early model pat, um, Tiger. It's going to be painted in late war colours with lots of distressing and probably red up oxide wheels and armoured panels because they were cobbled together from training tanks and scraps and spares. So hopefully it's going to be a really interesting tank to look at and watch. So uh, come back in a couple of minutes and uh, we'll see you with the base coats on. Catch you in a bit. Hi guys and welcome back. And as you can see the base coats are on. The uh, tarpaulins have been base coated in grey green by Ravel Aquacolor. The tank commander mix of uh, Ravel and Cistel colour and this tarpaulin is beige by Ravel Aqua colour. The hull of the tank is base coated in Africa brown again by Ravel and the tracks leather brown again by Ravel and the turret just the same apart from the interior of the hatch has been undercoated in grey which will be highlighted up to an interior white. Right, that's base coast time, I'm going to do some hard edge camo and then it's time for weathering and shading and then I'm going to do some washes on the equipment and the crew just a simple uh, null oil or agrax earth shade depending on what I'm doing let that go off and then it'll be highlight city okay guys catch you in a couple minutes uh, for the next Hi part guys and welcome back and as you can see I've done the base colours I've done the red oxide primer and I had a major major trouble with the camouflage it just wouldn't work so what I decided to do was stipple it out and make it look like it's hastily repainted for training purposes. So we'll take a closer look at the, uh, the turret. I've also put the decals on ready for uh, washes and stuff so they become dulled out. I've also painted the inside of the turret hatch. And if you look at the hull, see it but yeah there's the camouflage 
massage lines. They didn't quite work out. And I think I've gone overboard on the chipping, which I can dull down and sort out with the washes and what have you. Again, the decals on the side, ready to be dulled down by washes. But on the upside, the commander is done. I'm very pleased with him. The epaulets and the headphones and everything. And also the rest of the stowage is done. Let's see if I can pick this up without dropping any. And I dropped the bucket. But yeah, that's all done, all highlighted up and washed. So that would be good. And there's the bucket. So uh, yeah, the next stage is to do washes and and the weathering, and then hopefully we'll be done. So uh, join me in a couple of minutes, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hi, and uh, welcome back. This is the finished piece, the finished Rubicon models, Tiger One E. It was an absolutely lovely model to build and paint. And uh, considering I don't have an airbrush, I think I've done a really good job, even if I say so myself. The stowage is by Rubicon as well, as I think I mentioned first off. But yeah, it's a lovely kit. Got the oil marks the engine deck, the exhaust scorching, scorching around the end of the barrel. I drilled the barrel out as well, don't know if you can see. There you go. And then the tank commander. Well, Warlord. But yeah, get another lovely model to build. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope that I've explained enough what I did and introduced enough colours for you because obviously I don't use Vallejo like most people I use Citadel and Ravel um, personally comments if you want to know what colours are used or any techniques that I used especially considering I didn't use an airbrush and as usual consider giving us a like and uh, pass it on to your friends etc again any comments any criticisms all welcome um, as usual thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video